everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. It is the ninth day of Troutmas, our 12 day countdown to Christmas. We're doing a Mike Trout themed video every day. Today we're opening a box of 2011 Bowman Sterling. There's 50 cards in the set, and Mike Trout's one of them. And we're hoping we can find them today. That card raw is worth about $1,000. And a PSA 10 is worth $3,000. And if it's a refractor, it's worth $6,000 and a PSA 10. So we have the potential to find a mammoth card today. But before we open this up, let me remind you that during these 12 days of Troutmas, uh, make sure you're publicly subscribed to my channel because on Christmas Day, I'm going to give away this card right here to one of you guys. You have to be subscribed. You have to like this video and every video that you'd like to, uh, you know, have count as a comment. Uh, comment in that video. And I will choose one random commenter from each video to go into a Saturday showdown. Uh, using a box of Prism Quick Pitch, if your spot pulls the lowest number card, then you get that Mike Trout. Really cool little giveaway going on. So please, if you'd like it, make sure you are subscribed, like this video, and leave a comment. So let's go to get started here. We've got six packs in this box. There are six mini boxes in Bowman Sterling, and there are some nice names in this set. A very, very good box here today. Running through the checklist, there's Freddie Freeman rookie card, Salvador Perez rookie card, Mike Moustakis rookie card, Jose Altuve rookie, Anthony Rizzo rookie, the big guy, Mike Trout rookie, Paul Goldschmidt rookie, who else we got here? Todd Frazier rookie, Brandon Belt rookie card, Craig Kimber rookie card, Eric Cosmer rookie, Kyle Seeger rookie card. Some big time names on that 50 card checklist. There's also 50 prospects in here as well, guys like Bryce Harper. So let's see what we can find. Now the way this is going to be laid out is there are six mini boxes in here. I believe it's going to be two relic or two autographs and possibly one relic per mini box, something like that. Six mini boxes, five cards per mini box. I sure hope we can find the trout in here. John Barker is going to start us off. I also think there's a box topper in here. I'm going to keep that one for myself. Probably sell that one off. And... Uh, kind of offset the price of the box just a little bit for the people that were participating in here. So Berman, Bowman Sterling featuring Eric Hosmer on the front of the box. And we are underway on this ninth day of Christmas. We still have to do 2011 Bowman, 2011 Tops Update Retail, 2011 Finest, 2011 Pro Debut. So lots of trout still coming your way all week long. Also have the Saturday showdown with trout. So we're not done by any means. Make sure you keep on checking back, folks. All right, here's the box topper, which is, for me, it's a dual relic card. And here's each person's mini box. John, you have box number one. Kind of uh, an interesting little hexagon of a box here. It's kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and see what we can find in this box. Let me get John's name on the screen. John is a Patreon member. If you'd like to check us out on Patreon, it is... $4.99 per month to have access to all of our breaks. Like this one, our Saturday showdowns, which are filling right now. If you win the Saturday showdown this week on Christmas, you also get a trial rookie card with it. All right, only five cards per box. Let's see if I can ever get it open here. There we go. There's the box and the pack. All right, here we go. John Barker, congratulations already. You're in way our underway for you because you're going to have something. Now you have the Kyle Seeger rookie card. We really want to find the Mike Trout. All right, here we go. Kyle Seeger, Matt Moore, prospect card autograph. It's a dual auto. Check this one out. A dual auto of Ben Revere and Liam Hendricks. What a nice card that is. Beautiful card right there. We have a Starling Marte autograph. How about that? Starling Marte auto. Very, very nice. And CJ Crone. Man, you got four autographs in your box. And a relic of Brady Rogers. What a nice box that was. Starling Marte, a big, big time star. CJ Crone had some nice success too. And also Liam Hendricks and Ben Revere. So all of your autos in your box had success in the big leagues at one point or another. That's pretty awesome. Congratulations on that. If you're thinking at the back of your mind, well, man, I wonder if you can find a Mike Trout autograph in here. Wouldn't that be nice? If we look over the autograph checklist, here's some of the names on this checklist. Get ready, folks. 
Steven Strasburg. We've got Anthony Rizzo, Freddie Freeman, Mike Moustakis. And yes, indeed, Mike Trout has an autograph. He's card number 19 in the autograph checklist. Could you imagine if we could pull the Mike Trout auto? So, John, thank you very much. That is your pack. Moving on, these boxes are very expensive for that reason. That Mike Trout card sure does command a lot of money. Here's pack number two for Nicholas. Good luck to you, Nick. I don't like the shape of these boxes. I'm not a big fan of the way they're doing this. These weird shaped boxes. Uh, by the way, the odds, I will show you those right now. I know some of you might be interested in that information since um, I've never opened this box up or seen this box before. First time ever trying out 2011 Bowman Sterling. They kind of switched it over a few years ago. Um, I don't know exactly when, but now they use like a pizza box type flat box with all the cards uh, in just regular boxes, like you know, like you usually see with a mini box. We got a Trayvon Robinson. These are nice cards, by the way. Very nice cards. There's the back. This is a nice one. It is a Jose Fernandez Gold. Bowman Sterling Gold, Larry Green. And now we get to the autos. That's out of 50. Please have a Mike Trout auto in here. That would be crazy. Joe Panic auto. Not too bad. Larry Green never really made too much of himself, but Joe Panic had some success in the big leagues. And we also have a Hobie Milner is the last one who also pitched in the big leagues. I think uh, with the Phillies most recently, I can't exactly remember. I think Gabe Kapler may have left him in the game too much or something as a rookie year. I can't remember exactly, but there's your two autos and your relic. Nick, thank you very much. Joe Panic, probably the best one of your box. Next at spot number three, here he is, Tim Magdaleno. He already has one trout this week. Let's see if we can get another one. He hit the 2011 Bowman Draft Trout in... Um, was it pack number two of that video? Let's see if he can continue his success. Here's spot number three. I don't want to see the back card in case it's a trout. I don't want to know. I want to be surprised. There's Andy Dirks as the first card there. We've got Jamison Tyone, and here comes our autographs. It's a Kevin Matthews auto is our first one and second auto. Sticking a little bit. It's a Boston Red Sox player. It's going to be Matt Barnes. Matt Barnes and Devin Marrero. So probably the best one there. I don't know. Maybe Matt Barnes. Unfortunately, no Mike Trout there. Tim, thank you very much for your participation in this break. Next, spot number four, we have Ray Patterson. Let's go, Ray, and see what we can find in the fourth box up. Eric Hosmer on the front, and uh, it looks like it might be time to switch over to a different box cutter, I guess. I don't want to go too hard when pressing down on these. I don't want to ruin the cards inside, although I guess there's some leeway in there. All right, Ray Patterson, let's see what we can do for you. First card up is a Desmond Jennings. Second card up is a Robert Stevenson. Your autograph is going to be a Zach Cohn. Never heard of good old Zach Cohn before. Next, we have a Jake Skull, a or Skull, and Dominic Ficus Yellow. Who's this guy? Imposter. I don't know who that is. Uh, Ray, thank you very much. Unfortunately, no trout in there either. Next, at spot number five, we have Justin Williams. Only two more boxes left. I'll, just get, I'll take them both out, I suppose. That's the next one right there for Justin. Good luck, Justin. Seth, you're in the on-deck circle. Bowman Sterling, 2011. It, uh, I don't know. With all these autographs in here, the chances of finding the trial, a little bit tougher than I would have liked to. I was like, oh, 50 cards in the set. We can maybe have a good shot of finding them, but uh, those autographs do eat up a lot of the cards in the box. But, you know, you got a shot at the Mike Trout Auto, so there's that. David Lyon is the back card. We've got a Craig Kimbrell rookie card, Refractor there, Justin. That's a good one. And we have a Zach Wheeler. So you're doing pretty well so far in terms of big names. And next we're going to have an Alex White and also an autograph of Garrett Gold. Alex White, rookie, and Garrett Gold. And your relic is going to be David Lyon is the last one from Team USA. So nice uh, Craig Kimbrell and Zach Wheeler in there. But unfortunately, the autograph's not that great. You know, that's what happens with prospect autos. 
I forget what the ratio is of prospect, failed prospects. It might be like one in nine make the big leagues or something like that. Here's Seth right now in our final box on this ninth day of Thomas. Man, Christmas is almost here. I can't believe it. It is almost here. Looks like um, somebody's got to get some Christmas shopping done, a.k.a. me, very soon. Before I run out of time. All right, here we go, Seth. Spot number six, final box of this video. And, oh, man, it's Paul Goldschmidt. That's a good one. Why could that have not have been the Trout? That would have been amazing. We only have one other card in here. Yeah, Trout has to be the next card. We're not going to get him unless it's an auto. We also have that dual relic as well, which I'll open up. We got Goldie. The next card, please be Trout. It looks like it's a pitcher. I see an A2000 glove. It's a Cub. It's Brett Jackson. Now we need it to be an autograph. We've got a Jed Bradley. Oh, Jerry Sands, former Dodger and Pirate. Jerry Sands rookie card. And the final one is going to be Mark Appel, former number one overall draft pick in the nation. Kind of a fail. Definitely not a kind of. He's he's a failed prospect. Never worked out for Mark Appel. So, Seth, thank you very much. Unfortunately, you can't always find Trout on Troutmas. I guess I should have bought a couple of those boxes to make sure I could find them. Unfortunately, we didn't get them today. But we'll try again. We have uh, Top's Finest coming up this week. We've got uh, the Bowman box still to do. We've got um, the update box as well from 2011. And also Heritage. Or not Heritage, sorry. Pro Debut, which I ordered those a long time ago. They're still not here. They sent them registered mail. They're taking forever. But here we go. Let's finish with this. One dual relic card of Bowman Sterling. Let's see what we can find here in this box topper. Okay, it's not bad. It's an Orioles card here of Zach Britton and uh, Andrew Jones. Kind of a cool card there, numbered out of 25. Zach Britton and Andrew Jones. And that's it, everybody. That is the ninth day of Traumas. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. Tell me your favorite card. I think my favorite card was, I don't know. I really like that Paul Goldschmidt. I'm probably going to go with that one. So, uh, we'll be back tomorrow for the 12 Days of Traumas. And we might have a second upload. I'm not sure if I... I'm, I'm, Waiting on my Tom's Gold Cup cards to come in. So um, could possibly have another upload as well for you today. So have a great rest of your Tuesday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.